Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are going to take a look at chainsaws. Now, I realize chainsaws are not the most complex topic in Farming Simulator. However, there are plenty of new people starting every day. I see their posts all the time asking questions. And there are a few little things that uh, it helps to know about using a chainsaw before you get started. So, first thing we're going to do is look at chainsaws. You get a choice of four still Husqvarna. Johnsherd and McCulloch. It doesn't matter, they're all the same. You do not need to care about what chainsaw you buy. Now, to access your chainsaw, if you're on PC, you just roll the mouse wheel one click and that will bring up your chainsaw. If you're on console, I don't know the console commands, but I'm sure pulling up your chainsaw is not a big deal. Now, when it comes to using your chainsaw, there are a few things you need to know. If you have a curved tree, don't if you can help it. And if you have a nice tall straight tree like this, hopefully you'll run into most of the time, um, chop that sucker down. <laughs> That's about all you need to know. Um, but when you have your chainsaw, you can rotate it like so, left or right. Now, one of the little tricks of the chainsaw that a lot of people don't know is the tree will fall in whatever direction you rotate your saw. So if you're cutting from right to left, like so, the tree will fall to the left. If you flip this over and cut through left to right, the tree's going to fall to the right. And it also depends on the angle. So if I'm standing here, the tree's going to fall that way. Actually, I'm going to be cutting this way, so the tree's going to fall like that direction. So that's one thing to know. Another thing to know about your chainsaw, when you're ready to chop down a tree, you're going to come up and you're going to get a ring. A blue ring means you're generally just not close enough, so if you step up it's going to turn green. Now, crouching is an important part of using a chainsaw, so to get lower on the trunk, if you want to get a nice short stump, you will cut, or you will crouch down and try to keep your cut circle flat. If you angle it down like so, it can cause problems when the, when you cut the tree. The tree might actually just stand there. You can get it to fall over eventually. You could cut it a few more times. Do whatever you want to do, but it works best and is easiest if you just cut it flat like so. So. We'll just cut this one from right to left, and you'll see it's going to fall to our left. Like so. And I will come up, and I'm going to flip this over just to show you that it does, in fact, change the direction that it, the tree falls. Come on. There we go. Or no? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes? There we go. Okay. And there we go. That tree fell to the right. So you can see um, the direction you're cutting determines the direction that the tree falls. We're not going to mess with that one yet. Now, once you've got the tree on the ground, if you know if you're not up to for forestry harvesters yet, you need to delimb the tree. How do we do that? We point the chainsaw at the trunk of the tree, you crouch down, fire up the chainsaw, and just start walking along the trunk. As you're walking along the trunk, you will magically be trimming the branches off, like so. Nice and easy. Some people, like myself, like to cut this sharp end off. But otherwise, now you can see we've got a perfectly delimbed trunk. I'll demonstrate that one more time very quickly, just so you can see that it mostly works. Sometimes it's a hassle. Sometimes you'll have to like swing back and forth from side to side depending on the tree. <coughs> but most of the time it works pretty well. Just aiming down, crouching, and then firing up the chainsaw and moving along the trunk and delimbing it like so. And you can see plenty of this taking place if you're watching my Off the Grid series, which I strongly recommend. <laughs> not self-serving at all. Now let's address this big funky tree because these are all over maps in FS19. 
and I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. I'm going to cut left to right. About like so. Now, the tall, straight trees that we cut down, those are spruce, and those are generally the kind you're going to be cutting to sell to the, the sawmills and such. But there are plenty of these out there too, and usually map makers love to put them in places where, where you have to find a way to get rid of them. My recommendation is chop them up into bits, turn them into wood chips, um, or just cut them into small manageable pieces because delimbing these is a real hassle and I'll show you why. Because a lot of these limbs don't come off, you've got to cut them down. Like so. It's not like the spruce trees that we just did. These actually, you've got to remove these branches with the chainsaw. Like so. Again, chainsaw, not the most challenging uh, thing to use in the game, but when you're new, it's always nice to have somebody take a minute to explain something to you. And uh, I just happened to stumble across this information when I was uh, learning to play, and it really helped out, especially knowing that um, the direction you cut is the direction that the tree will fall. So as you can see, this is a mess of curved curved limbs, um, you know, these trees are really, really should just be chopped up and thrown away. But you are going to run into them. So, that is my lesson on chainsaws for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And feel free to join us on Discord. Um, there are a few people in there all the time chatting. And until next time, y'all take care.